Welcome to your daily devotional reading from the book My Life Today. Month of November, a victorious life. November 17th. Christians in all ages have overcome. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. 1 John 5 verse 4 The apostles built upon a sure foundation, even the rock of ages. To this foundation they brought the stones that they quarried from the world. Not without hindrance did the builders labor. Their work was made exceedingly difficult by the opposition of the enemies of Christ. They had to contend against the bigotry, prejudice, and hatred of those who were building upon a false foundation. Kings and governors, priests and rulers sought to destroy the temple of God. But in the face of imprisonment, torture, and death, faithful men carried the work forward and the structure grew beautiful and symmetrical. Centuries of fierce persecution followed the establishment of the Christian church, but they were never wanting men who counted the work of building God's temple dearer than life itself. The enemy of righteousness left nothing undone in his effort to stop the work committed to the Lord's builders. But God left not himself without witness. Workers were raised up who ably defended the faith one delivered to the saints. History bears record to the fortitude and heroism of these men. Like the apostles, Many of them fell at their post, but the building of the temple went steadily forward. The workmen were slain, but the work advanced. The Warden Seas, John Wycliffe, Huston Jerome, Martin Luther, and Zwingli, Kramer, Latimer, and Knox, the Huguenots, John and Charles Wesley, and a host of others brought to the foundation material that would endure throughout eternity. We may look back through the centuries and see the living stones of which it is composed gleaming like jets of light through the darkness of error and superstition. Throughout eternity, these precious jewels will shine with increasing luster testifying to the power of the truth of God. A Victorious Life, November 17th